Now let's deal with theorem number two. So in the in the previous theorem we saw that a diagonal divides a parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Now we are going to use that property to prove that in a parallelogram opposite sides are equal. How to go about it? Okay, so let's uh, start the proof using e congruence. So how to do it? So uh, we have joined a diagonal BD. Okay, and let's use this. So as we have done al already, we'll write given A B C D is a parallelogram. Okay, to prove what is to prove? What is to be proved? So you have to prove that A B is equal to C D and A D is equal to bc correct so ab is equal to cd and ad is equal to bc let's do that so whenever you see such kind of a you know e e e uh, let's say if you have to prove two sides to be equal so one way is to prove that they are part of uh, they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles cpct and hence we are done so let's try to prove that so proof is very simple what you need to do is you have to take in triangle in triangle a b d and triangle c d b so if you didn't notice i am just trying to write the triangles where corresponding parts are equal so a must be equal to c b must be equal to d and d must be equal to b like like that so please be very very careful while you are writing the congruent triangles right now in triangle ABD, what can I say? I can say angle ABD is equal to angle CDB. Why? They are alternate interior angles. Why? Because AB is parallel to CD because it's a parallelogram. Similarly, or the next BD, so BD side is equal to DB side, right? Why? They are common, common side, common side. Okay, and third one, angle ADB is equal to angle CBD. Why? Again, alternate interior angles, alternate interior angles, right? And what are the parallel sides? AD is parallel to BC because of the property of the parallelogram therefore tell me which criteria of congruence did you just use it is nothing but angle side angle a s a so therefore by a s a a s a congruence criteria by a s a congruence criteria triangle a d b is congruent to triangle C D sorry triangle A B D not so hence I was making the same mistake so you have to be very very careful A B D is congruent to C D B okay now what therefore A B if you see A B must be equal to C D why you can write corresponding parts of corresponding triangles sorry congruent triangles right similarly similarly what can you say ad so if you see this is ad ad must be equal to cb cb that means proved so we just proved that opposite sides of a quadrilateral sorry parallelogram are equal it's very very important theorem so please keep this theorem in mind. We will be using this multiple number of times in problem solving.